Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 5 whole cubed is equal to x plus 4 over 2. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. If we multiply both sides by 2 and divide both sides by x plus 5 whole cubed, this implies that x plus 4 divided by x plus 5 whole cubed is equal to 2. Next, x plus this 4 can be written as 5 minus 1 divided by x plus 5 whole cubed is equal to 2. Now, this expression can be written as x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 whole cubed minus 1 divided by x plus 5 whole cubed is equal to 2. Now this x plus 5 will be cancelled out and uh, this power 3 will become power 2. So, this will become 1 divided by x plus 5 whole squared minus 1 divided by x plus 5 whole cubed is equal to 2. Now, this uh, 1 over x plus 5 whole squared can be written as uh, 1 divided by x plus 5 whole squared minus this expression can be written as 1 divided by x plus 5 whole cubed is equal to 2. Now, we suppose that 1 over x plus 5 is equal to t. So, this equation will become t squared minus t cubed is equal to 2. Move this 2 to the left hand side, this will become t squared minus t cube minus 2 is equal to 0. Next, t squared minus t cubed minus this 2 can be written as 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Next, t squared minus t cubed negative times 1 negative 1 and negative times this 1 negative 1 is equal to 0. Now, we combine these two terms uh, t squared minus 1 and these two terms in negative t cubed minus 1. So, this will become t squared minus 1 minus t cubed minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we make a group of these two terms. Uh, so, this will become t squared minus this 1 can be written as uh, 1 squared and we use parenthesis to make this a group minus this t cubed due to this negative sign this uh, negative will become plus and this one is same as one cubed is equal to zero by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This will become t plus 1 times t minus 1 minus by using this identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared this t cubed plus 1 cubed will become t plus 1 times t squared minus 1 times t plus 1 squared is 1 is equal to 0. 
Now, as you can see, this expression t plus 1 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, t plus 1 and uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left this uh, t minus 1 minus this t squared minus t plus 1. In bracket left, uh, t minus 1 minus t squared minus t plus 1 is equal to 0. Next, t plus 1 times t minus 1. Negative times t squared will become negative t squared. Negative times negative t plus t and negative times plus 1 negative 1 is equal to 0. Next, t plus 1 times we write this negative t squared first, negative t squared and 1 t plus 1 t will become plus 2 times t, negative 1 minus 1 will become negative 2 is equal to 0. From here either this expression t plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression negative t squared plus uh, 2 times t minus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 1 and from this equation we multiply both sides by negative 1. So, this negative t squared will become positive t squared. And this uh, plus 2 t will become negative 2 times t and this negative 2 will become plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation t is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 2 plus minus square root of place of b squared we write negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 2 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, t is equal to negative times negative 2 will become positive 2 plus minus square root of this negative 2 squared will become 4 and negative 4 times 1 times 2 will become negative 8 divided by 2 times 1, 2 and uh, t is equal to 2 plus minus uh, square root of uh, 4 minus 8 will become negative 4 divided by 2. Next, t is equal to 2 plus minus this square root of negative 4 can be written as root 4 times root negative 1 divided by 2. Next, t is equal to 2 plus minus root 4 is 2 and this uh, square root of negative 1 will become i divided by 2 and uh, t is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 and in bracket left uh, 1 plus minus i divided by 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get uh, 2 values of t t is equal to 1 plus i and t is equal to 1 minus i. First we found the value of t is equal to this negative 1. First we found the value of t negative 1. Now to find the values of x we recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, 1 over x plus 5 is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, 1 divided by x plus 5 is equal to t. So, when t is equal to negative 1, then this equation will become 1 over x plus 5 is equal to 
negative 1. And if we take the reciprocal on both sides, this implies that uh, x plus 5 is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to negative 6. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of uh, this equation. The when t is equal to 1 plus i, then this equation will become 1 over x plus 5 is equal to 1 plus i. And if we take reciprocal on both sides, this implies that uh, x plus 5 is equal to 1 over 1 plus i. x x plus 5 is equal to we multiply and divide by 1 minus i 1 minus i so this will become 1 times 1 minus i 1 minus i divided by by using this identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared this 1 plus i times 1 minus i will become 1 squared minus i squared and x plus 5 is equal to 1 minus i divided by 1 squared is 1 minus this i squared is equal to i squared is equal to negative 1. So, in place of this i squared we write uh, negative 1. And x plus 5 is equal to 1 minus i divided by 1 minus minus 1 will become 2. And this implies that uh, 2 times x plus uh, 10 is equal to 1 minus i. And if we subtract 10 from both sides, this implies that uh, 2 times x is equal to negative 9 minus i and this implies that uh, x is equal to negative 9 minus i over 2. This is the second value of x. This is the second solution of uh, this equation. Now, when t is equal to this uh, 1 minus i, then this equation will become 1 over x plus 5 is equal to 1 minus i and if we take reciprocal on both sides this will become x plus 5 is equal to 1 over 1 minus i and we multiply and divide by 1 plus i so this will become x plus 5 is equal to 1 times 1 plus i will become 1 plus i divided by by using this identity, this will become 1 squared minus i squared. Next, x plus 5 is equal to 1 plus i divided by 1 squared is 1 minus this uh, i squared is equal to negative 1, negative 1. Next, x plus 5 is equal to 1 plus i divided by 1 minus minus 1 will become 2 and if we multiply both sides by 2 this implies that uh, 2 times x plus uh, 10 is equal to 1 plus uh, i. We subtract 10 from both sides uh, this will become 2 times x is equal to negative 9 plus i if we divide both sides by 2 this will become x is equal to negative 9 plus i over 2. This is the third value and this is the third solution of x. And the first solution of x, x1 is equal to this negative 6. First value of x is equal to negative 6. So, we have uh, three solutions of uh, this equation negative 6 negative 9 minus i over 2 and negative 9 plus i over 